Hi everyone, Jeanette here from Case Flower School and today we're going to talk about lilies and give you a couple of tips on them. So the lilies, believe it or not, are one of the best selling flowers. They say it's never out of the top 10 of flowers that are sold worldwide. They stand for majesty and honour, so they are basically like, you know what I mean, the queen of the flower. You will find when you're ordering them, like look for the oriental varieties because you find like the scent is much, much stronger. That's if you like the scent of lilies. I do recommend having yourself a stem stripper. We sell these here at the school. You can purchase them from our website, flowerschoolireland.com. So with all flowers, you remove the leaf below the waterline. So using the stem stripper, you can see how easy it is. And then you can just throw it into your bin. Just bring it down the stem. And normally the first time does it. These are also great for when you're removing the stems or the, the thorns from your roses. And again, it'll save your hands. So go along all your stems and remove them. Now normally lilies are always sold as tall flowers, but you will pay for the number of heads that are on each stem. So you can see these ones have four heads per stem. So it is possible to buy stems that have what we call one plus, so you're guaranteed one head, maybe another one. Two heads plus, so you're guaranteed two heads and maybe a third one. Three heads plus, you're guaranteed three heads and maybe another one. These were obviously four stems plus because you can see this one here has five heads on it. Now, lilies are a great lasting flower. So you'll easily get 10 to 14 days, especially if they're at this stage here. And obviously it depends on how warm the room is. You will find if your lily buds are inclined to go brown, that's a sign that the room is too cold. So two to eight degrees is perfect conditions, you know that way, to kind of like keep your lilies at their best. If you want them to open, you're better off keeping them in a warmer room. Sometimes some of my students and maybe have weddings or events coming up and you're looking for lilies and you want them open for the day of the event. Well, then you need to make sure that you open them or sorry, that you purchase them in plenty of time. So I would normally recommend anything five to seven days in advance of the actual event or the actual wedding. Now that will depend on the time of year. If it was in the winter time, I'd probably recommend purchase them seven days in advance. Where if it was in the summer time, like say lilies are always at their best from say June, July, August, September, well then you will find if you purchase them five days in advance of the wedding or event, they will be open in time. Little tricks for getting them open. You will find they are like all flowers, they're prone to ethylene gas, so we'd always remove the plastic. But if you want your lilies to open, when you have them placed in a vase, like a little trick for you here, is that you could put like a blast plastic bag gently over the top of the heads. And what will happen is the ethylene gas will build up and again, it'll help the heads to just start to burst. Now you don't want to leave the plastic on while the heads are bursting because what will also happen is the stamen on the inside, the pollen, that will start to pollinate or kind of go powdery and that will start to stain the inside of the flower and you don't want that to happen either. So with all flowers, once you remove the foliage off the ends, what you need to do is take at least two to three centimetres off the end on a 45 degree angle. The more of an angle that you cut the stem, the more the flower can drink up water. If you want them to open faster, cut them every day. Or I'd often say to the students, cut them every four hours. They need lots and lots of water, especially with that number of heads to get them open. So the more you cut them, the more they will drink water. Normally with flowers, we say when you cut a flower, it sucks like mad for the first hour and then it slows down. And then in four hours time, you should recut it again. This is if you want to you like force it open. And again, it'll suck like mad for the next hour and then it will slow down. So by cutting your flowers every four hours, you will find you'll get your heads open that little bit quicker. Normally you keep them in warm, cold water. But again, if you want to force the flowers open, keep the water slightly tepid. Again, keep them in kind of like a cooler room. But if you want the flowers to open, keep them in a sunny room. Often with the students, I'd say, put the vase up on your table in the kitchen, that your kitchen is that little bit warmer, and then maybe they can get the sunlight coming in through the windows or through your skylights. As soon as you see the pollen, you should remove the pollen. This is not going to affect the scent of the flower. But the pollen, what will happen is it'll stain the inside of the flower and it doesn't look nice. Plus it'll stain everything else around you. Now a little tip, when you remove the pollen, if you drop the pollen pods into the water, believe it or not, the lilies absolutely love that. I would always use flower food in the water. And I would recommend changing the water every three to four days with lilies. But again, if you want to do a little bit more often, that's absolutely fine. 
and when you do change the water I would recommend recutting the stems again whether you want them to open or not you know the way again I'd recommend cutting them because when you recut the flowers again they're going to drink up the fresh water and then hopefully you have flower food in the water and again that will add more preservative to the flower and will prolong its life Listen, if you have any questions at all regarding lilies, place them in the comments below there and I will respond to everyone. And in the meantime, don't forget to check out all our other video tutorials on treatment of flowers and conditioning on our YouTube channel. Thanks for listening.